welcome back. Hi everyone, I'm Lin and I'm very happy to be your language buddy. Let's start learning Vietnamese together and here we go with our lesson today. What was the very first phrase you came to know when you started to learn Vietnamese? I'm sure many of you say hi or hello in Vietnamese, right? There is a Vietnamese old saying Lời chào cao hơn mâm cổ Which means it's better to greet someone with respect than to serve him or her a large feast So it has always been very important to know how to say hi or hello in Vietnamese in a proper way Lòng tôi xin chào Việt Nam Did you hear the last phrase in the song? Xin chào Việt Nam Xin chào is a general phrase you can use to greet someone in Vietnamese Xin literally means please and chào means hi or hello But in daily life, we don't use xin chào very often Instead, we use another way. We still keep the word chào, and after that is either a name or a personal pronoun, which addresses the person you are talking to. Let's take a few examples. As you can see, there are two basic structures. First, chào and personal pronoun. For example, chào chị, hello Mus. The second way is Chào and name. For example, Chào Mai, Hello Mai. Chào Linh, Hi Linh. If you use the word Chào only, it is not polite enough when saying hello or hi. So to be more polite and show respect, in the beginning, you add the personal pronoun which refers to yourself and in the end, add the final particle at. is the final particle which is usually used at the end of a sentence to show respect to others, especially those who are older than you. Let's see more examples. Con chào mẹ à. Hi mom. Cháu chào chú à. Hi mister. Cháu chào ông à. Hi mister. But Ling, Chú and Ong are the same because you translate both of them as Mr. They are not the same. They both refer to a male but a different age. One of the differences between English and Vietnamese is the way to address people. For you in English, we have many ways to express with the same meaning. So, if you are not familiar with the way to address people in Vietnamese, just stick with the easiest expression, Xin chào, and everybody can understand that you want to say hello to them. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. What do you think of the lesson? Do you have any questions, any comments, or anything you want to know more about Vietnamese? And one more thing. How do you say hi or hello in your own native language? Please let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye! Tạm biệt các bạn!